All right, hey, hey, it's Omega here. And so I, I think this is gonna be the last Clean Cars for All program video, all right? I know, I know it's like, it's been it's been 30 months, guys. It's been 30 months since I've bought my RAV4 Prime through the Clean Cars for All program, and this is the final report, okay? So so if I wanted to sell it, I could sell it now. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna sell it, man, I love it. It's great, man. Like I said, I plan to keep that RAV4 for a long, long time. I just got done uh, detailing it. Um, I'm gonna release a video on on, uh, on how I detail it and all that stuff but uh so check that out but anyway this video is about the the 30 month report and it's pretty much going to be just like the 24 month of report I think uh there was a 12 month a 24 month and then there's a 30 month so this this is like six months I so I know I was looking at my emails like that uh, it, it, the last one wasn't too long ago if I remember correctly and yeah so this is the last one all right um, it's 12, 24, and 30 month report, okay? And they, they want you to keep it for at least that long is what I'm gonna say. Um, fortunately, uh, if you bought your vehicle through this program, you're still happy with it 30 months out, all right? Um, and, and yeah, and I'm still paying for it. <laughs> I hate to say it. I haven't paid it off yet after 30 months, but I, I believe I can do it this year. I, I don't have the, I've got about like 10,000 left on the loan and then, and then it's all mine, all right? yeah yeah anyway uh so let's go take a i'm gonna go i'm gonna go do the 30 month report all right and then um and then yeah and then that'll be the end of the video all right it's not, nothing too exciting is what i say but uh but yeah this is the last step in this uh this program all right you gotta do the 30 month report and then that's it Okay guys, so here's the uh, Bay Area Air Quality Management District website. Um, here's some stuff, here's some recent stuff, some updates on the program here if any of you uh, are uh, looking into it, all right? And this is what, you know, it's been about, yeah, two and a half years, almost like three years since, uh, since I've got, yeah, it's pretty much three years since I've gone through the process. And uh, so in 2023, all right? 2023 Clean Cars for All program is closed. All right, it closed on January 31st, 2024 at 4 p.m. and they're no longer accepting any new applications. So if you guys didn't get your uh, application in for 2023, then uh, um, you missed out, <laughs> okay? Staff will continue processing applications. All right, so if uh, if you submitted it before that time, they will, they will, um, they will still honor it, okay? They'll still look at it. All right, and then um, and then the, it's gonna reopen in 2024, March 1st, 2024. All right, it's uh, as of this video, it's pretty much it's February 1st, 2024. Okay, so in another month, they're gonna reopen it for applications. Okay, and it looks like they said they're gonna expand it to the entire Bay Area. Okay, they really want people to drive uh, EVs or um, low zero emission vehicles. And that's that's the word. <laughs> All right, and then there's a fiscal year um, 2023 charge program. I think that's the one where they'll help you buy like a charger for your EV. Uh, they are no longer accepting applications for 2023. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So those are some uh, updates as of uh, the the 30 month report, guys. Uh, so I'm we're gonna go here. Reports due. I got the email a couple days ago, and I want to do it now before I forget. So just go to reports due. Okay, I'm gonna blur it out, but uh, it's it's gonna pull up your um, your report thing, all right? And I just gotta fill it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it out, and then we'll kind of go over it after, just like the other videos, and then that'll be it. See you guys in a bit. Okay, well anyway, let's go through some stuff before I start filling it out. Um, so this the due date on this is uh, February 13th, 2024. So it's um. A day before Valentine's Day, all right? And I've got about two weeks to do it, guys. Um, yeah, it says due February 13th there. And this is your final survey and provides the Air District with an update on your Clean Cars for All grant and should reflect your experience 30 months after your vehicle purchase on August. So that's when I purchased it, August 13, 2021, all right? And then uh, we click the edit button and then we start filling out the report, all right? That's what I'm gonna do. All right, and if you're wondering where the edit button is, it's right up there in the corner. Right. Okay, guys, so here we are. I'm gonna blur out the sensitive information, but yeah, it's pretty much gonna be the same as the last report. 
are you the same ad uh, basically their first question is does your current home address match the address on file yes it does i didn't move okay um do you still own and operate the vehicle yes i do on a scale of um do you still own and operate the replacement vehicle yes i do on a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied are you with the process of the retire and replace your vehicle? I put 10. Okay, I'm pretty happy. I, it allowed me to buy the vehicle. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being very unsatisfied and 10 being very satisfied, how satisfied are you with the replacement vehicle you chose? I chose 9 because I wish it charged faster, guys. That's my. That's pretty much my only gripe about it. Okay, and what if anything do you like and enjoy about your vehicle? I put it is a great reliable vehicle. I <laughs> mean, it's probably something similar to put last time. It's very safe to drive and with its all-wheel drive system, it saves gas by not using much gas. It is much more convenient for long distance trips than a battery electric vehicle. Okay? Which is true, man. Um I tried to plan some trips yeah, I planned some trips to look for chargers and stuff, and I could never find any chargers, guys. <laughs> um, what, if anything, about your replacement vehicle worries you? I put nothing. Uh, what is your current odometer reading? I'm at 43,077 miles, guys. And it, it, I know, let me ask you a weird one about how many miles have you driven your replacement vehicle since your initial purchase? Well, it's a brand new vehicle, so it's the same miles all right and do you drive your replacement vehicle more or less than your retired vehicle i would say more all right because it replaced my previa and the previa i try not to drive as much as possible because that thing guzzled gas okay <laughs> um how many more miles i just made up a number 50 all right but my my uh my rav4 actually replaced two vehicles guys so it it's doing like double duty here um, has your replacement vehicle changed your employment opportunities? I put yes, um, and I put I can use my vehicle because I re very recently, guys, I I got laid off for uh, as a seasonal package delivery driver. All right, um, and I used my Rav4 to deliver packages. Okay, guys, so so if I had, I mean, if I had the van, I could probably still do it, but it would eat up a lot of gas. <laughs> okay. It's not as convenient a delivery vehicle, I'll tell you that. But it can hold a lot more, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I can use my vehicle to deliver packages because of its size and efficiency, right? That's what I put. Uh, is your income more or less? I put about the same. Did you take a loan out for your replacement vehicle? I put yes. How satisfied are you with your loan? I got a 2% loan, guys. The, the, the whatchamacallit, the, the interest was 2%. That's really good, all right? Um, nowadays, the interest is not very good. <laughs> so, because I bought a motorcycle after I bought my car, and and the interest was like 10%. So I guess I got really lucky, man. I saved a lot of money on interest. So I don't have to worry about, you know, paying the loan off right away because the interest is so low. It's about, if you guys are wondering, I pay about $20 a month in interest okay uh, do you expect to be able to keep up with your loan payments I put yes uh, what if anything worries you about the loan I it's been 30 it's been 30 months guys and I haven't paid it off yet so I want to pay it off soon I'm, I'm getting tired of paying every month <laughs> and um, I plan to have it paid off this year or next okay so that's my plans guys I plan to pay this vehicle off this year or next year all right um, and I think it's totally doable. Has your replacement vehicle required any repairs or maintenance since you purchased or re or leased it? I, w I said yes. Um, and the main uh, maintenance I do on it is oil changes and tire change or rotation. And I clean the air filter. Okay. Um, are you spending more or less on your repairs for your replacement vehicle than your retired vehicle each month? I put less. Um, I just made up a number and they asked them how much how much less I put a hundred dollars I, I don't know for sure <laughs> okay. um, are you spending more or less on fuel less all right because my previa was a gas guzzler guys I don't know how much less I just put a hundred dollars okay I don't really keep track of that um, if you purchased a battery electric vehicle how do you how do your costs for electricity compare 
your gasoline costs well I put less because I use a solar panel system to to charge it okay guys so I pretty much have free electricity all right <laughs> to charge it almost almost not not like right now in the winter time I don't because <laughs> I'm not getting much solar power it's raining a whole lot right now okay um, charging where do you charge your vehicle most frequently home did you participate in electric vehicle service equipment reimbursed? No, I didn't. All right, that's that, that charge program they were talking about um, where they help you buy a, a charger for your home. I didn't. Okay, and then uh, do you have any comments or suggestions? I didn't put anything. And then, then that's it. All right. And then uh, there's, uh, there's my name, and that's when I signed it. All right, and then we're going to hit submit here. Boom. Note for submitting, nothing. Bam! All right, your report has been submitted. You will receive. So basically, what we went over was like the review part. Um, you will receive an email from the Air District confirming your receipt. Thank you for participating in the Clean Cars for All program. All right, and with that, I'm done with my 30-month report for my uh, Clean Cars for All program. All right, and I believe, uh, yeah, it did mention that this was the final report. Okay, so so no more doing these reports. So um, and and with that. This is the final video for the Clean Cars for All program vlog, okay? Um, I, hope, uh, I hope these vlogs have helped you guys out, um, have helped people, uh, you know, make that decision on applying to with this program, okay? It's a great program. If you, you know, if you want to drive a more uh, efficient, modern car, uh, this is a great way to do it, okay? And, uh, and yeah, if you're interested in a RAV4 Prime, uh, I say buy it, all right? It's a freaking great vehicle, <laughs> all right? Um, the, the newer models have a faster charging, all right? So um, so you don't have to worry about Hayes Mega. You know, I complain about the, how slow the charging is on the RAV4. It's not as slow on the newer RAV4s, <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. I hope this was educational and entertaining. Thanks for watching. Here's me go.